Okay, sound effects appear to be working. Muscles seem to be working. Voice. I think we're good. And right on time as well. Or maybe even a little early. That's gotta be weird. Alright, let's go. How's it going? Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is for you. Hope you are doing well. Ooh, start the stream off strong. That's what you like to see. That's what we like to see. How's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? <laughs> Sorry that we, uh... Weren't able to get a stream in last week. It's been a little busy. Been a little busy on my end. A lot going on. Way more than I anticipated, that's for sure. Easy. Hey now. I'm trying to remember how to play here. Ow. <laughs> Not like that. Try again. Okay. That's right. That's right. I remember now. Okay. Frozen on the East Coast. Frozen all over the country, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just doing research or have a run in mind? Oh, uh, so I'm kind of pondering what kind of run to do. I'm not quite sure. I'm stuck between three different choices. The first choice would be trying to beat the game with only parries, which obviously, as far as research is concerned, I've already failed, but I think it's doable. I know you can parry the bosses. I don't know if you can parry every single boss, but maybe you can. Um, but yeah, so considering trying to beat it with only parries, can you see this guy? Like so. Yep, well, see. <laughs> Gotta actually parry the dude first. Um, but yeah, so it's probably doable. My second option was beating the game while in the Umbral forever. Uh, which would get pretty hectic, considering you start getting hunted the longer you're in there. Um, and... The last thing I considered was beating it with consumables or firebombs, you know, ranged weapons. Uh, the problem with that... No, don't use that, use this. Eh. The problem with that is that you have such limited ammunition. I'm, yeah, let's see, can I interest you? Can I interest you in some backlog? Yes, I can. Um... Yeah, the problem with the ammunition problem is that you have so few ammunition charges in the early game that it's basically impossible to kill the bosses, um, as far as I can tell. And the only way to get more is you can either A, grind out ammunition pouches, which makes me sad, or B, um, you can upgrade, I think it's two stats, it's like your health and your endurance, and for some reason those two stats increase how much ammunition you carry but nowhere on the internet has anything to tell me about like what the maximum amount is because grenades and those kind of things don't scale which is a big problem um, because that means it doesn't matter how much ammunition or how many stats I dump into uh, I'm basically limited by whatever the maximum amount is and I really don't want to grind for 40 plus hours just to find out that the maximum ammunition you can have is 10, right? So, uh, yeah, kind, kind of in a bit of a rut with this game. Not really quite sure. Just do all three of them at once. Ah, yes, of course. Thank you. <laughs> the, the obvious solution. <laughs> Did I do a casual playthrough? I've gotten pretty far in my casual playthrough. Um, but... Me being me, I am at the point where it's like, okay, well, I'm kind of bored, so what challenge can I do for the rest of the run? So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. That's where we're at right now. 
assume Maloney will be rough in the early game, but hilariously easy at the end. See, that does depend. That does depend. Um, like I said, I'm not sure. I have not seen any information on how much maximum ammunition you can have. If you can have pretty much unlimited based on the stats and the math that I've found, then yeah, it would be super easy. But I don't think that's the case. So my health back here. Just a little. I also really hate how you have to actually touch the souls. That's really annoying. Like, basically punishes uh, ranged builds. Ugh. Oops. Try again. There we go. I'm really good at the parry, though. <laughs> so, so there's, you know, silver linings. Throwing axe is so OP at the end. Is it? Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. I have considered using other things other than firebombs. Like I said, just using anything with range. Try faith only. Uh, same problem runs into that one. Unless you're talking about, like, I can just use a regular build, but I have to use only faith stat. At which point, eh, I guess. It's not really that interesting. You can use your lantern to suck up souls. Can you? Oh. <laughs> well, that's helpful. Well, it's kind of annoying still, but... You know. Better than nothing, I guess. Here, let's see. Oh, well. Doesn't help when it gives it to me right away. Ah, yes. Loincloth. Just the spells. Okay, okay, okay. The hammer has S strength. Mm. Oh, throwing hammer. I see. Yeah. So, I, I believe it. I believe it. The problem with the fire bombs, of course, like I said, is that none of them scale, which is really disappointing. Um, you'd think throwing it harder would scale it, but no. Uh, from any distance, you can clear out a zone and then just use lantern. Really? Really? We will be testing that theory. Chat, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been on that information, chat? Kick. Kick. Oh, the kicks do damage. Oh, I shouldn't do that. That's kind of disappointing. Ow. <laughs> Ow. There we go. Mm -mm. Parries for days. Parries for days. Nope, missed that one. Got that one. And missed that one. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't grapple here. Give me an actual hit. Come on. Give me an actual hit that I can actually bury. There we go. Let the bleed counter go down a little bit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this fucking guy. With the grabbing. Always with the grabbing with you. <laughs> Walk away for a little bit. That bleed counter's getting a little high. Can you get more beat Lords of the Fallen without ever falling? Yeah, good point. No. It has considerable range. Okay, that's good to know. I had a question about the game since I heard about it. Have we seen a Lord fall in the game yet? Good question. No idea. Probably. I couldn't tell you who's a Lord and who's not. But I'm sure we've seen at least one. There are rings that reduce ammunition costs significantly. Ooh, that's good to know. But are they, like, mid-game? Because that's not going to help me <laughs> in the early game, which is the problem. Ow. 
Again with the hitting. <laughs> Always with the hitting with you. Come on. Yeah, I goofed that one. Did goof that one, though. Yeah, I take your lumps. It's stupid that he doesn't give you any souls. Alright, we're just gonna let this thing murder me. There's absolutely no way. You think they're mid-game? Oh, okay. Got it. Maybe late early game. <laughs> so either way, not a good time. Got it, got it, got it. There are also ammunition pouches that are, cons are consumables that restore ammunition. Yes, I am aware of that. Um, the problem with the ammunition pouches is that I don't think they're obtainable until after Pieta. I think that's how you say it. Pieta? Uh, and she is the brick wall for the consumable run. Um, because you can get all the way up to her, no problem. You can sprint past everything if you really want to. Um, it's the... And killing this guy, I'm sure one of the classes has enough ammunition to get through. Probably. Um, but it is the problem of Pieta. She is too bulky. Firebombs do very little damage to her. So, yeah. You would have to grind after her. Um, which would be awful. Because the math is pretty brutal. Did I miss upgrade material in the first level? Eh, probably. Who cares? Eh, probably. Honestly, I've never seen it before, so... Uh, where am I? Didn't realize there was one over there. Give me your friend. He's mine now. As is your soul. I want. I want to try this whole like <laughs> the lantern sucking up souls thing, but the game just keeps giving them to me. Anyway. Oh, an Estus upgrade. Really? There's an Estus upgrade in there. No. No. There's a full Estus upgrade in there. Well, that explains a lot. I actually played this a little bit of this with my buddy, Mac. And uh, this game is actually a lot of fun co-op. I will say that much. This game is a lot of fun when you've got a buddy to bounce off of and you guys are just kind of, you know, Dark Soulsing it up. Right, let's see. Is it uh, further back or forward? One of the starting classes comes with ammunition pouches. Which one, though? Which? We gotta go upwards? Okay, good. We can do that. Upwards I can do. Hey, give me health back. I don't want to die in there. Okay, well, that defeats the purpose of that. I'm just gonna move. Let's see. Oh. Well, here's all the exits to get out of the umbral, which apparently I need to do. Yes, thank you. As they try to put me right back in it. There we are. Okay, we need to go up, they say. Up, they say. Ooh. So it's up here then, huh? Okay. Guess we'll take our time, sift on through here. That's the way you'd normally go. That is the only way to go. Who's got it? Who's hiding the thing I have not found? Keep going till you see some buddies praying. Okay, I can work with that. It's on the walls. It's on the walls. What the hell's it doing on the wall? Oh, up there. Oh, seriously? It's one of those things? I didn't even see that. Wow. Yeah, that's huge. Okay. Cool. <laughs> that's... That's uh, upsetting that I've missed that literally every single time I've been here. 
Well, at least we know it's me. At least you know you're watching Lemon. That's how you know. Most of the yellow glowy stuff is Estus upgrades? Yeah. That or it's something important. They've always been something relatively important. Did this tutorial show that specific one? I have never seen it. <laughs> Clearly, I've not been paying attention. Don't really need it? Well, no, you don't. But, you know, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Especially with some of the later bosses. Fucking Congregator. That thing? Ugh. Such a bad boss. Such a bad boss. Makes it so frustrating to do it solo. Co-op, it was still bad, but at least not the worst. <laughs> After they fixed that boss, it's actually a fight now. Oh, did they fix it? <laughs> Is it fixed? <laughs> was it worse? Oh, man. That's upsetting. Oh, that's upsetting. I hate to know what it looks like beforehand. Which boss we talk about? Congregator of Flesh. Big old, uh, lumpy, mc big huge. Yeah. Yeah, stuck. But yeah, so. Still trying to figure out what kind of challenge run we can do for this. I'm thinking... I'm thinking parries only, just because that's pretty simple. But that's kind of, um... That one's kind of hard to make into a video, is the only problem. What the hell? There's another... Oh, you're not dead? What? Get out of here. I guess we will have to go start. I thought the people kept saying that the spears act as like a, a high crit machine. That's the other problem. There's no information on this dang thing, <laughs> on this dang game. There's no information. Ah. All right. Here's a question for you, chat, since you guys seem to be know what we're talking about here. Um, the which weapon has the highest critical? Is it the daggers? I know it's supposed it's like almost always daggers in these games, but is it is it daggers? Parry damage also sucks. It's not the best. I mean it works, obviously, but but it could definitely be better. I wish it was higher. Which ending would I go for? No idea. Haven't gotten that far. Didn't even realize there was multiple endings. I would go for the story appropriate one. And by story appropriate, I mean whatever story I decide to tell. Um, here. Let's see. This thing is technically a dagger. And it does more damage. Okay. Yep, it's daggers. Daggers is the way to go. Ow. That really hurt. Broken sword only run. Eh. I mean, as you can see, it's better than the spear. If you do parries. By itself, it's garbage. Ow. I gotta get used to holding block. I keep trying to, like, just click it as a parry, and that's not how it works in this game. That's not how it works. Hallowed Condemnation. It's not a dagger. Just gonna scoot behind this tree so that guy doesn't just snipe me. Come on down, the water's fine. Alright, I'll come up to you. And by that I mean you're gonna wander off that edge anyway, aren't you? Oh, you didn't this time. Well yeah, I guess we could do Lords of the Fallen with a broken sword. That's that's certainly an option. It's not a good option, but it's an option. <laughs> Lord knows you can do it. At least in the early game. 
<laughs> At least in the early game, it's possible. Does anyone know if there's any Reaper sites in this game? I have not seen any Reapers in this game. The wiki does not seem to list any. It's definitely not like a subclass of weapon. They might do the Dark Souls thing where they hide it under the halberds, though. I've not looked into that. So the wiki is probably your best bet in that regard. At the very least, I feel like people have found all the weapons. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, you and I are going to have talk. <laughs> Maybe stop with that, huh? Oh, that comes out so fast. Oh, I died. <laughs> ah, I see. I have burned. There we go. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. This guy now drops that flaming arrow spell that he uses. Does he? I've never seen it. And like three, but I guess it's probably a rare drop. If I had to guess. Name the parry run character Parry the Platypus. Well, that's a pull. We could certainly try. Now, here's a question for you. Is that spell worth it? Like, is it actually any good? As in, something I could possibly use for a ranged only run? Question mark? Asking for a friend? You doubt it's useful? Dang. There are runes that increase their damage. That's good to know. That would be helpful if we do, in fact, decide to do a broken sword run. If we are, in fact, insane. Which, you know. Never really been a question, but still. Where's this going? Why is it up here? Why would you do this? Why have you done this? I guess you could kind of maybe get some, uh... Actually. I think I know why they did that. Because then I can run away. Woohoo! Come on over. Yeah, come here. Come here. A little closer to the wall. boy. Oh, what? It's not high enough to actually... <laughs> to actually get the... The fall damage. It's a bummer. Ooh. 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 Okay. No. Oh, hey, Baron. This is my first playthrough. I've... No, but also... Technically, yes. I've not actually beaten this game. Just for that, I'm gonna kick you. Ah, well. <laughs> ah, well. So it is. So it is, so it goes. The newer spells they introduce are actually overtuned for when you get them, in your opinion. Okay. You can also do the only stick run. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've 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 gotten the stick before. It's just further into the game is all. So there'd be a problem with that one because it'd be like you, know, you have to clear the tutorial, you have to clear Pieta, and then you can sprint your way to the weapon of choice. It's kind of it's kind of a lot. You can use your lantern and go to the other roof, but that's also post Pieta. Wait, what? Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. I was, I was confused. Yeah, I keep forgetting how much is actually in the Umbral world. Like, I keep forgetting how useful it is to actually go there. Oof, man, you're like three parries. That's rough. <laughs> Certainly not worth grinding. Oh, this guy in his... Oh, this guy in his lawnmower, man. 
is something. All right, take care now. It's not the amount of souls I had when I died last time, but that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so you guys are saying, hey, in the Umbra world. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, there it is. I'm a fool. Why would you do this, though? Is this an area you can't normally reach? Raw Mangler Axe. Okay, I've never seen this before. And then I'm bigger. Oh, this is an area you can't normally reach. Interesting. I had no idea. Chat, you guys are teaching me so much today. Why do I even bother reading the wikis? I can just stream and let chat tell me what to do. <laughs> I was trying to collect things. Here, hold my sword. Don't worry, it's broken. And more vigor as well. Alright, so let's see what they gave me here. What is this, axe? Just a straight up axe? Okay. Oh, it's a fire axe, excuse me. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to insult you. Um, what about this thing? Is there any way to tell how much crit something does, or is it just based on weapon class? It's probably just weapon class. Perry only might drive you crazy with the Dark Souls 2 level of mob spam in this game. True. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could run through it all. You don't actually have to fight it, but, you know, you do need to level up at some point, so kind of a... Kind of the tricky part. It's just kind of going around and be like, hey, what's up? Stab me! And there he goes. All right, hey, let's try that thing. If I do this... Yep, that actually does absorb souls. Wow, okay. Wish I had known that. Cool. <laughs> Can you beat the game without going to the Umberworld? No, you cannot. I know that for a fact. That one I know for a fact. Oh, look, you got a little buddy. Because Chad can be bastard sometimes. I mean, they can, but they're you guys are usually pretty good. You guys are usually pretty good. You'd rather see a successful run than just be trolls, which I appreciate. Which I appreciate, because honestly, trolling gets kind of annoying and old after a while, at least in my opinion. But I don't know anything. I'm an old man. Who does not have time for shenanigans? Just getting hit in the face with axes, apparently. I have time for that. Okay. 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 There we go. <laughs> Got tired of that guy's shit. Oh, yeah. The axe is very good against Pieta and much better if you grind the second one from axe enemies. Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> fair play, Baron. Fair play. I guess that is this guy's axe, isn't it? What you looking at? No? Oh, you have a second attack. I can't see. I am stuck. Help. <laughs> I need an adult. No. No. Try again. No. Yes! There we go. Eh, almost one kill. Almost a one and done. It's no fun egging someone on when you know it's going to end in failure. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Glad to uh, glad to see that you guys understand that I just don't. <laughs> it's very hard to get a rise out of me. To be fair. The things I have seen and heard in my life that have been directed towards me, y you guys just aren't going to be able to beat it. And that's not, I'm not, that's not encouraging you. I'm just telling you that, uh, <laughs> in my previous careers, uh, unless you guys are physically attempting to murder me, then you, uh, you can't beat it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of hard to get upset when someone calls you a name, you're just like, all right, I mean, like, whatever, man. <laughs> Have a good day now. Story time with Lemon? Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know if we if that all oh, that story is really that appropriate for YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah, the ring. I forgot about that ring. Yoink. <laughs> that is a statement. Oh, that was only half of it too. <laughs> That was just the physical side of things. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, it wasn't. No, there was more. <laughs> Never mind. I was working as an assassin? No. Nothing nearly so interesting. Nothing nearly so interesting. Milo, good call. Good call. I'm sure that was a hard choice to make. Trust me, been there. But, uh... Hey, wait a minute, schedule. But at the same time, safety is more important. You know, like, I know it might put you in a harder situation, but uh, it can't, doesn't matter if you're hurt. So, good call on you. I hope you find the right thing. I hope you find something that's a better fit for you. Where am I? There's a ladder. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of you. Step, step. You know, the broken sword really isn't that terrible all things considered I mean this base has you guys noticed that with this game that all the weapon types kind of feel the same I feel like I don't know I, I feel like the like every dagger does the same amount of damage like different types of damage sure but like every single dagger does like roughly 80 damage and every single axe does like roughly 120 damage and there's that second axe you guys were talking about um which is just kind of like why would i why why is it like that i don't know i could be wrong but like even looking at the wiki it seemed like there was no end game dagger per se Do you know how to tell mimics from normal items? I uh, didn't know they were mimics, so no. Find that out later. <laughs> Figure that one out later. I'm not too worried about it. By the time you get the better gear, the gear isn't the upgrade you think it is because the baddies all have gotten stronger. Could be. Could be. I mean, it looked like the stats themselves were actually the same. Yeah, they do feel the same. Okay, good. It's not just me. Glad to hear it's not just me. I'm not just a crazy person. Yeah, so with that in mind, it's kind of like, well, is the broken sword really going to be that bad? Because it's, it's basically the same as the other daggers. It doesn't have bleed on it or fire or something like that, you know, so you're going you're gonna to miss out on an element or a status, which is definitely one of the benefits of having a dagger due to the, you know, fast uh, attack speed, but... At the same time, I don't know. Don't feel like I'm missing out on too much. Not not missing out on damage anyway. Go you ahead and give me a seed. If you don't make use of I've given you from now. Rawr, so angry, rare. Do I even need that seed though? Do I even need? We're just in the umbral, we're fine. Oh, wait, yes, we absolutely do. <laughs> I know where we are now. Yeah, please, please put this in the ground. I'll let you figure it out. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, so let's see. So normally, obviously, you'd go agility. That increases your attack power. Yay. Um, but really not by that much. So I think it's, this is definitely one of those games where it's not worth pumping stats for damage. It's more worthwhile, unless you have like an S rank, but it's more worthwhile to pump your stats like endurance probably, and maybe even vitality. Radiance and Inferno are their own things, obviously, so. Hmm. Hmm. I guess let's go Vitality, because that'll give us health. And then, actually, if I remember correctly, Vitality and Endurance do increase our ranged ammo. So maybe we can kind of start playing around with that a little bit. I am curious to see. Maybe that's what we'll do this stream. We'll, uh... Maybe we'll do that. How about your fists? <laughs> fists actually really aren't that bad. Here, let me... 
Let me find some poor sap to test this out on. We're still in the umbral. Surely one of these things would come out at me. Anybody? I don't want to fight that guy up there. Anyone else? No? Okay. Let me just kind of... Let me just uh, find somebody to punch in the face real quick. Ah, there he is. Look at that. Asking you shall receive. Oh, wait. Where'd he go? Never mind. I guess I'm not cool enough. Vitality increases your weight. Does it? I think... You know, is there an explanation page here? Does not... A, what if I a character? No. <laughs> no, there's no explanation button. <laughs> and that just does a little bit more there. Yeah, not... Okay. Uh, well, from what the wiki has told me, what well, God knows if it's accurate, because um, it's all on Fextra, so... Ugh. But from what I can tell, they say that uh, there's a... There's a there's some sort of mathematical equation. Yeah, try again. Good try. Have a fist. Yeah, so a fist isn't that bad. I mean, I guess in comparison, it's not great because you could parry and do the same amount of damage that you do in like three hits. So, not the best, but certainly not the worst. And there are fist weapons. Those are actually pretty decent. Um, but uh, yeah, the math. Someone's figured out some sort of mathematical equation that appears to be correct, according to Reddit. So there is some sort of way to determine how much ammunition you have. I just don't know what the maximum is, and no one online is saying it, which is really annoying. Vitality, endurance, increase ammo capacity. Yeah, yeah. So. Honestly, chat, I don't know about any of you. Do, have any of you made, like, a ranged character? And if so, how much ammo are you guys able to max out on so far? Would like to know. Because, uh, if we have a number that can help with the firebomb run, just saying. Just saying. You forgot there's a bucket weapon? Yeah, that's technically a fist, I guess, right? That is the, uh, that's how that works. Do we have an update on merch? Yes and no. So, oh my god, shut up. Uh, Grimdark, ooh. Um, so, unfortunately, the merch people have failed me <laughs> when it comes to the new mugs. Um, the mugs themselves were great, and I was really happy with them. The problem is that the packaging is very not eco-friendly and despite my asking like hey it's a steel mug can it not need so much packaging they're like mm, no we can't do that I was like all right well I don't I don't feel good about you know putting out pounds and pounds of styrofoam into the earth so we're not gonna do that I'm gonna have to find somebody else to go through um, as far as the old merch is concerned though we will Get that ball rolling. I always forget that that's a thing. We will get the old merch back on the table while I find somebody that can do the mug. So, if you missed any of the merch in the past, or if you just want a duplicate of something, uh, that's on its way. That's on its way. Probably relatively soon. Greedy. No, don't do that. Ah, I, I did not press it at the right time. Yeah, some data mining would definitely help. <laughs> some data mining would definitely help me with my research, but as it stands, I have to do it all myself, and unfortunately, this is one of those games that has some sort of, like, I think it's easy anti-cheat or something like that, um, so I can't just rapidly go to Cheat Engine and be like, hey, here we go, let's, let's just play around with the numbers and figure out the math for future. Uh, I don't know if you can actually block that attack. I should probably stop trying to do that. Uh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh, you were winding up. I did not know that. 
Well, one HP in a dream. One HP in a dream. Let's go. Where are we at here? Uh, wrong way. Wrong way. You know what I could do? The ultimate. The ultimate dis. Eh. <laughs> oh. What oh, you're kidding. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, that's silly. That's silly. Yeah, the music is something else, that's for sure. <sighs> music is definitely something else. Darn, we were so close. Is there an online component to the game? Yes, there is. Um, there is co-op and allegedly PvP. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. Mac and I did fight off a, uh, an invader at one point. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, unfortunate. Like, cause, Don't get me wrong, I get it. And I'm, I'm all for people uh, not ruining other people's experiences with cheating. Um, it's just annoying, though. Because, <laughs> you know, like now I'm over here like, well, guess we'll never know. <laughs> I guess I'll never know. Firebomb Run is a distant dream. Yeah, there's no way to block that. I don't know why I keep trying. I have an idea. I have an idea. I do wish it, you know what I do wish I wish that the uh, I wish anti cheat worked when you were online, but that I wish that if you started the game offline, you could play around with it and not have the problem. You know, like kind of like Dark Souls does, where they set it up so that uh, if you're online, sorry, loud noise incoming. Cover your ears. I warned you. Um, I wish it was like Dark Souls where if you're online and it catches you cheating, it basically bans you from online. That's fine. That seems fair. And then if you're offline and you're cheating around, it doesn't care because it's like, well, you're not influencing anyone's game. So like whatever, right? I wish that were the case. All right, let's see. So this guy's got the fire bombs. Let's, let's play around with the whole ranged idea. This guy has it turns and vitality and throwing axes. Okay. We've already seen... They got a crossbow. The crossbow's actually pretty strong. Hmm. Until someone cracks the executable? Well, yeah, you know. Well, then somebody else will come in with the mod and fix it, right? <laughs> That's how that works? <laughs> no. So, let's see. Uh, so, crossbow is an option. Bow is also an option. We've tried the... I tried the throwing spears, and they were okay. This guy has uh, bleeding knives, but I don't think bleed works the way I think it works in this game. Ranger has the ammo pouch. That's good to know. Good call, good call. And then, of course, there's magic, which people would probably argue is not, uh, not appropriate, so we probably can't use that. Smite is the, D the Dark Souls bleed. Bleed here is shit. Hmm. Oh, okay. Smite. That's right. That's one of the statuses. Okay, so smite is Dark Souls bleed, and then bleed here is what? Just kind of like a a slow drip, maybe. Bleed gives a twenty percent amp to the next five attacks. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Ew. Yeah. Okay. Not that. <laughs> Bye, Jack. See you later. Uh, okay. Let's try this. I've never actually tried this class before. Let's go. Yeah. Sure. She's fine. I don't. I don't care. Eh. Okay, here we go. The pirate cultist is just kind of a firebomb academy member? Yeah, for the most part. They are a pyromancer, so, you know. Alright, so let's see. Looks like only one ammunition per shot. Cool. I like that. Damage is low. But is across the board. What? Really? 
Holy Fire Wither? What? What's, what is it on about right now? This bow does Holy Fire and Wither? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. You found the Discord? Hey! Glad you found it. Alright, let's see here. Regular attack. 74. Okay, so arrows. You need three. Which is honestly one more than fire bombs. Fire bombs, I needed two to kill that guy. So that's something. Alright, so now the real question is can this build get past the first <laughs> mini boss? And that's, unfortunately, that's kind of where we're going to be with all of this. It's going to be, hey, can it beat the first tutorial boss? Because if it can't, then it's kind of like a waste. If it can't do that, then we're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, where's my lantern? There it is. So we'll just sprint through the tutorial. Oh no, he's missing the quintessence again. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Do the rocks do damage? I think so. Should try the warwolf. The warwolf has no... Oh, he does have a ranged weapon, doesn't he? He has a throwing axe of some kind. Yeah, we'll give that a look too. We'll give that a look too. Yeah, the rocks do damage, but the question is, do they, though? <laughs> do, do they, though? Or does it do damage in the sense that something happens and the health bar moves a little? That is the true question. Oops, wrong way. Gentlemen. You're pretty sure it's better than a bow in the early game? Yeah, it probably is. Six damage. <laughs> That's terrible. That is... That is abysmal. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Can we just skip right to it? Excuse me, pardon me, Callaway. You're fine. You didn't need those ankles, you're fine. There's always the, there's always the bouncing after, like how much consumables do. True. I just wish they actually like scaled with anything. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. I would have liked it if they actually scaled. Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I guess this this probably oh I have two ammunition pouches okay this is probably a guaranteed win then probably a guaranteed win then pew oh I misspoke that is shit damage oh my god <laughs> that is really bad damage oh boy okay that and that charge time is not are you healing no, you're not healing. You're just buffing. Okay. That's fine. You can buff all day. I don't care. You can do that all you want. <laughs> yeah, all right, buddy. <laughs> no, no, you're doing great. Keep it up. Hmm. Maybe it won't be enough, guys. This might actually be close. We're going to find out. Boop. Okay, so I've never actually used an ammunition pouch. Let's see how this works. Oh, it's a full reload. All right. Then why are there more than one ammunition pouch type? Like, why? Why are there ammunition satchels? What is that about? Please hold. Regenerating stamina. You're doing great, by the way. Ah. Oh. That's pretty close. We might be able to do it. Survey says. Let's find out. Just 
Make sure we don't miss. We might be able to pull it off. The pouches are a set amount. Okay, good to know. Oh. It's gonna be close. <laughs> it's gonna be very close. Oh, it's just enough. Wow. Yikes. Okay. There you go. Satchel is about double. That makes sense. Consecutive shots do more damage, did they? I wasn't actually looking at the damage. Hip thief. That's fine. We're just going to die here again. No no reason to really push our luck here. Thank you. What? How didn't you kill me? I'm right here. Thank you. Took it long enough. Charge shots do more damage. Oh. I didn't realize there were charge shots. Or maybe I did. I just didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Let's uh let's test that theory. That's a theory worth testing, chat. Now that we have a nice full quiver again here. Take my, <laughs> my take my eighty seven souls and get out of here. <laughs> Has to be a full charge. Alright, well let's see here. Take this guy's little friend here. I'm a monster. Yeah, this guy's gonna try and throw something at me. Good job. All right, let's see. 129 versus 74. Yeah, there are charge shots. Wow. Interesting. But that one did 111. Why? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are there headshots too? Are there headshots too? Guess we gotta test, we gotta test that out now. No more pouches for Pieta? Nope. The the goal here though is there? Yes. Oh great. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't have any ammo pouches for Pieta, but at the same time, the idea would be that now I can grind. God, there's there's gonna be headshots. Ugh. Oh no. That might be a thing that you have to actually do. Gross. Um. Yeah, the, the idea being that I would have to uh, beat this first boss, which we obviously can do, which is great. Um, but then you have to, no matter what, you're going to have to grind to beat Pieta. She's just, she's very tanky. And I don't think any amount of charge shots would have been enough without uh, some... Okay, well, you're just going to annoy me. All right, so let's see. Oh, right, you can't lock on. How does this work? Oh, it's like that. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not okay. This will not do. Well, there it is. But yeah, no, headshots would be mostly luck. I could, I could see that already. That would be mostly really luck. She's weak to fire damage. Is she? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. I kind of want to know... Now I kind of want to know if uh, you can charge up, like, pyromancies and stuff. Does that... Is that a <laughs> loud noise, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, like, this axe, obviously. This pieta. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Not my natural language. Lo siento, lo siento. Mm. You can charge all the throwables. Hmm. You can charge spells, you can charge throwables. Really? So... If I were to say... Yeah, that's fine. Who cares? <laughs> yes, it's a good enough name. Just go. So if I were to, say, pick the knight and, I don't know, throw a firebomb really hard? <laughs> Would that do anything? I guess let's find out. Oh, 
Cult Citizen. Hold. Does have a charge attack. Does 85. If I don't charge it, it does 85. Chad, I've been lied to. If I hold it for a really long time, and then throw it, it does 85. <laughs> That's not... And now I'm out of ammo and I can't even throw another one. <laughs> I know. Oh, boy. Yeah, that is not great. That is not good. Firebomb damage is just firebomb damage. Yep. Doesn't matter how hard you throw the damn thing. So, yeah. There does appear to be a charger mechanic. I agree with you, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't actually affect the damage. So... Um, firebombs have been neutered. That's cool. That's fun. Loud noise, get ready. Alright. I really wish it would let me skip past that a little faster. <laughs> or maybe just not even do the noise, but here's what it is. Okay. So, to answer the question, can you beat the game with only firebombs, the answer is no. Because you cannot beat, um... You cannot beat the introduction boss. This much is certain. This much is certain. Uh, but you can beat the introduction boss with the bow. So we could, at the very least, you know, try for... Oh, the shut up. Receiver. We could, at the very least, try for um, ranged only. We could do a ranged only run, that could be a thing. Which could then include firebombs, for sure. Here, hold the sacks. 150, good lord, that's twice the firebomb. And you could throw one more. Ridiculous. Hey, how much do I get for a regular, like, quick throw? Eh, 100 versus 150, so a charge shot does an extra 50%. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, anyway. <laughs> this fucking thing. Hmm. Okay. This is a projectiles only run. We're actually just kind of playing around and researching. We're just kind of figuring out what kind of challenge runs we could do. Um, check the scaling on this thing. C across the board. C's across the board. So, like, not the greatest. Not the greatest. Yeah. Acts as a high strength scaling. Not this one, it doesn't. I'm sure another one in future on, yeah. But that one, no. It's negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, dude, same. Dude, same. My chickens are so upset. They are so cold out there. Not, not really, they're fine. Not really, they're insulated. They're good to go. Uh, you can get upgraded versions of these throwables. Yeah, for sure. Loud noise, I'm sorry. Have we beaten this game yet? No. No. I've gotten far enough in it that I got bored. So, now I need a challenge run to get to the end. Um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Alright, so we've seen the spears on this thing. They're fine. The bow is enough to get through. When do we get Can My Chicken Be Dark Souls? None of my... I don't want my chickens touching my controller, man. <laughs> Trust me. You don't want them touching things. Dirty little beasts they are. I have chickens. I have many animals. I have many animals. Alright. I guess I could test the throwing knife. Although, we already talked about how the bleed is not ideal. I am down for holy runs, but that wouldn't play well against Pieta. Pieta. Te? Pieta. I don't know how to say it. I'm, I'm just butchering it and making a fool of myself. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> my Spanish teachers rolling in their graves. Oh, boy. Lump hammer was what you're thinking of? Ah, okay, yeah. That's, that's probably what it is. Um, minus 16 with wind chill. We were at, like, negative... To fucking 25 or 30 yesterday with wind chill. It's ridiculous. Absolutely insane. 
Hi, how's it going? I cannot charge my fireball. Chet, you're just full of lies today. That's no, okay. Um, okay. Interesting that both of the spell casting ones have a status bar. Like, this one obviously has fire, which then you could start burning. And then the holy spells have bleed attached to them. That's kind of interesting to me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. I would I would be totally down with doing like a fire bug run. 100%. But uh let's see how good Let's see how good this uh is against the, the intro boss. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Not fun. Yeah, it's not, man. It is it is the kind of cold that inspires poets. Like <laughs> like we're talking like, you feel the air literally ripped out of your lungs when you go outside. And if you are... If you are blessed with facial hair, suddenly you wish you weren't. Because while your face is warm, the icicles on your face and your beard are not. And they form so quick, too. Like... It's, it's brutal. It's brutal. My poor dogs, they're like, put us back in. Put us back in! Father! <laughs> they, they, yeah, they've, they haven't gone on a walk in days. It's been too cold. I can't put them out there. They're unfortunately not huskies, so they are not fond of the uh, abysmal weather. Got to negative 62 over there? Yeah, right? Crazy. Some, some very dangerous temperatures. Like I feel bad for anyone that can't get inside right now. I feel bad for anyone that can't be inside right now. I really hope everyone found somewhere safe to be. Because, man, oh man, that is some... Uh, fatal... Temperatures. Alrighty. <laughs> Your chickens and goats don't care one bit, but the chores suck. Amen. I feel that. Yeah, chickens are surprisingly resilient. To that kind of thing. You wouldn't think so. But, man, those feathers, they do some work. As long as you give them some way to get out of the wind, they're fine. Alright, so we're we'll rest up. Your hair started freezing? <laughs> Did you, like, just get out of the shower or something? You gotta be careful if you do that, you know. If you If you were to take a shower... I don't, maybe this, maybe this might just be a rumor, but I've heard that if you take a shower and then immediately go into, like, this kind of weather where, like, you know, the water freezes immediately, um, you could technically, like, snap your hair follicles. <laughs> like, just, like, break them because they freeze. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, wow. This is really good. Hold on a minute. Take your lumps. Take your lumps. Hmm. Yeah, we're not even close. Ow. <laughs> he took offense to that. No, 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 no. Well, that was easy. All right. Yeah, magical fire bombs. What? Are, <laughs> what were we worried about? <laughs> it's because they're dinosaurs. They're the dinosaurs that survived. They're the dinosaurs that made it through the Ice Age. Oh no! Stronger fire! Please kill. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> From fire we came to fire we return. Absolutely. Yeah, it's basically like overheating, for sure. Basically like overheat. The game's way of balancing how much magic you're throwing out there, I guess, right? Okay, well that works fine. And I have a sneaking suspicion that magic scales better than ammunition ever will. Well, maybe not ammunition in general, but... Um, like, what does this thing even do? It has a requirement. Hmm... Now, hold on. 
How does magic damage work? Does it ju is it just based off of your stat, like you're in like Inferno? Probably. Probably, right? That that would make the most sense. I can throw fire too. It's based on the tool. Oh. Uh oh, right, the catalyst -er. Nah, C minus. Gross. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So it's based off your primary stat, which would be Inferno. And then the C minus there. Which makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> I find the scaling gross, not the fact that it's a hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what of it? It's a hand, so. <laughs> That's a hand. This is a face. <laughs> This is all normal. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't notice it was a hand. I don't notice much. I'm seeing that. I'm starting to... Starting to notice that I don't notice much. Hmm. Can you make the lantern do damage? No. No, you can't go smacking people with your lantern, unfortunately. Okay, so let's see. So these guys drop mana charges. This much I know. Ow. And it's actually pretty consistent. Wow, this staff sucks. <laughs> it's really bad. Give me your bell charm. Give me. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. A pointed stick. Oh, it's actually worse. How? Well, that's upsetting. Well, anyway. Um, yeah. Let's see, let me think. So... Uh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> but whose hand? My hand! Probably, right? Everyone has three hands? Yeah. Um, you can say the staff sucks, but it does almost as much as a firebomb. Oof. Sad, but true. I think it actually does more. <laughs> I think it actually does more. Brutal. Brutal treatment of our of our poor child. Hi, here I'm here to do a Oh that was a shit parry. Oh this thing has shit parries. No oh, no. No, oh, I can't find out the timing. <laughs> it doesn't have timing. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> No touchy. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so these guys dro drop mana charges, so that's good. I don't know how much this thing does, per se. It's over time, allegedly. So that's a thing. But we could, at the very least, for fighting Pieta... I'm, gonna, that's, I'm sorry, that's just how I'm going to say it now. Uh... <laughs> We could, at the very least, carry a bunch of those and recharge. So that's something. We wouldn't have to grind for di for days. We just have to have enough consumables and be able to pump into the stats as well. So double whammy could be good. Could be good. Hey, how's it going? Don't mind me. Just sprinting ahead. I don't want to fight you either. Just sprinting ahead. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Did I use the lantern to throw people off ledges? Yeah, I found it kind of uh, redundant when I could just run up to them and just do this. So, I don't use that mechanic very often. The whole soul charge thing and stuff on it, it's just kind of like whatever. Hey, look, small mana stone cluster. 
exactly what we're talking about. It's that seems to be a pretty regular drop, which is great. Which is great because that's what you want to hear. You want to hear that your mana recharge item is very easy to find. And there's the stamina ring. Good. Put that on. Okay. Now my question, there's there's got to be like a boatload of like pyromancy spells, right? There's got to be. I wouldn't mind being this game with just pyromancy. I'm sure there's some fire boss out there that's going to like completely screw the run, but still. Eh. I mean, these guys are already pretty resistant. Yow. But for the sake of knowledge, you could kill them you know over and over, kill that one guy over and over again which is easy enough the starting class you gain access to after the inferno ending has other pyro spells as well oh, that's not gonna be uh, <laughs> that won't be happening considering I would have to beat the entire game Uh, through the water. Large mana stone cluster right there. Cool, cool. There's probably a couple of clusters around. That's good. I have to actually pay attention to find those, but we could do it. I'm busy. Please wait your turn. I am not busy anymore. How can I help you? Please enjoy the halberd. Alright. You. You and I are going to be friends. Woohoo. No banner. Where am I supposed to go? This way? Yeah. Okay. So I guess... I guess what we really need to do, though, is we need to figure out how... Two things. I need to find two things. The first thing I need to know is, does my spell do more damage if they are parried? I sincerely doubt it. But I wonder. The second thing I need to learn is uh, how well these mana cluster things work. Like how much of a how much of a bar can I recharge? Merchant for Pyros is unlockable after Pieta. Yeah, yeah. It's the uh, is it Mergo or uh, Merlo? Pa Papa Abyss. Probably right. All right. Actually, I kind of want to gain a level just to see how good the scaling is it's not I know it's not great but I feel like I shouldn't just throw my 1100 Ooh, my 1100 souls just down the drain there also we totally missed uh, that one little section that had a bunch of free vigor I should just do that think of them like life gems roughly that pace I kind of figured but the question is how how much do they recharge, though? I wish I had an easier way to kill you. I w and wish you weren't surrounded by people. Because you probably just dropped me what I needed. Oh, that's not what I needed at all. That's burn salts. How dare you? Right, anyway. Anyway. Let's see. Not a lot. If I remember correctly, you'll get like three more casts. I mean, that's still... Like an extra 300 damage. I know it doesn't sound like much, but... <laughs> you gotta understand, with these kind of runs... That can make or break a boss... All right. 
You just say you're in training? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, yeah, all right. That's, that's, that is a way around that, I guess, huh? Hi, ball. And this whole thing, yeah, we're not going to fuck around with that right now. We're not going to fuck with that right now. Hmm. All right, where am I? Am I where I'm supposed to be? Uh, kind of, sorta. Should be a head thing there. There we go. I guess I technically needed to be in the umbral, so that's an oops. But uh, meh, it's fine. Gotta get up there though. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Hey, you. Here's a here's a question. How big of a pain are you with this? Oh God, that's uh, yep. To be expected. All right. Heal up. No, don't try and do that, you doofus. Okay. Uh, where there it is. Ow. Ow. We're fine. I'm okay. I would like to leave. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, let's see. So I technically can't upgrade my character, but... Looks we need about like 600 more. Yikes. Uh, these things. Oh, they only grant 400. Boo. Well. <laughs> I guess one more. Few more kills ought to do it, huh? Guess you are my friend today. Oh, I got a parry. Somehow. What is the parry time on that? I just don't know. Mm, not enough. Almost, but not quite. No. Wait your turn. Okay. Now we have enough. Zombie mama having breakfast. Good call. Breakfast is a very important meal of the day. Alright, let's see. So if I did this, I'd get one whole extra point. <laughs> I'd get one whole extra point and maybe a little extra from the spell power thing, but not really. I would get a little extra mana as well, 294. Uh, oh, there actually is no other mana bar. I see. Okay, so there's literally no point in dumping into anything else. Right? Let me double check that. Yeah, that doesn't affect it. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't. Okay, yep. Nope, there's just Inferno. There's literally just Inferno. Well, that's good. That that's helpful, actually. That um. Hmm. I was worried I would have to kind of divert between the two, uh, between like mana and damage for said mana, but apparently I don't, which is good, for our purposes anyway. Run away! Run away! All right. Well, I guess um. Uh, no better place to test those mana recharge crystals than uh, the boss itself, right? That's the way to do. I wish I had a shield. A shield would be great. Wait a minute. Can I use this sword as a shield? Is that a thing I can do? Uh, kind of. What if I don't want that? <gasps> I can get the quick parries. Oh, yes, that'll work. That will do. 
Am I enjoying the game? You've heard mixed emotions on it? Uh, yes and no. Um, I'm enjoying it for its mechanics. I really like the mechanics. I love the parry system. It feels good. I am not a huge fan of how little damage that I do after I parry something. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, and the game design itself is a bit too grimdark for my taste, and if I'm being completely honest. Oh, we never did test if hitting an enemy while they're parried is... Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a Dark Souls 2 for me, if I'm being completely honest. Alright, and 74. I'm guessing that is not... Ow. <laughs> I'm guessing that is not increased damage. I certainly hope not. 74 as well. Okay. Oh, you regain health. From casting Pyromancy, or rather, hitting with Pyromancy. I didn't know that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Food is that annoying thing the body needs most of the time? That and water. Yeah. Unpleasant, but true. Doing any damage regains withered health? Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I feel like having withered health and then casting Firebomb did not give me health back. I think Firebomb's really got a really rough, got a really rough deal, man. How's a guy supposed to blow everything up in this game? Well, anyway, now that we know we don't have to get close, I'm just not going to. Ow! <laughs> really? You can dodge attacks now, too. Oh, you're going to be tricky. You're going to be tricky. Well, this is practice. Practicing. Got to find the right timing. Got to find out when it's safe to throw, when she dodges, that kind of thing. I think we can get you to halfway, though, on a single mana bar. Oh. Aren't you something? Man, I can knock you out of things. Wow. Oh, okay, well. Can't do damage while she's transforming. Good to know. We're not... Here, you know what? Let her finish this off. Because now we know we can get her at least halfway on a single mana bar, which is crazy. Hmm. All grenades suck in this game? Great! <laughs> Fantastic. Hmm. Going to the Czech Republic as an exchange student. Have fun. Everyone I've known who's done exchange programs has had a great time. I can't say for the Czech. I've never... No one I've... Uh, no one I know has uh, gone to Czech Republic, but... For the countries they've gone to, they've all been like, yes, great. So, I hope you have a good time. See you later, high school. Have a good one. Alright, we run away. Your range is way longer than it should be. Okay, laser. Got it. You just, you can lure walk at me all day, honey. Uh, fine by me. The dodge is nice in this game. Can make it work. We lure walking? Yeah, we're lure walking. Eh, one wasted fireball, but that's okay. Alright, so far so good. I have six of these clusters? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, let's pop one now. Uh, pretty decent recharge rate, to be honest. No. No. Don't do that. Give me an attack I can work with. What do we... 
Are we already out of the recharge? Oh, that's not that great. I was hoping for a little longer than that. Well, okay, so we'll have to probably grind the hell out of those then. <laughs> Ow. Uh-oh. Too many items in the hot bar. The range is pretty good, though. I can hit her from across the map. Eh, so can she. <laughs> Credit where credit's due. She can also hit me from across the map. All right. All right we can definitely hit her at that animation there. Same with that one. She starts getting all fancy on me. Got the two for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's pop one of these. Okay. Oh, she did not do the same thing I was expecting. Interesting. Uh, kind of dodged it. Not try to take advantage of that. That is clearly not working in my favor. Okay, okay. Almost there. <laughs> this is absolutely doable. Dodge my attacks, come on now. What is this? Oh, okay. Just gotta find an opening. Come on. Less ranged attacks. Come on, I, what? <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> All right, it's fine, it's fine. Just need one opening. That'll do it. That missed? You're kidding me. There you go, take your lumps, get the hell out of here. Easy done. Oh, boy. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Alright, we don't care about the cutscenes, blah, 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 no one cares. Heresy has been purged. Beat her on basically the first actual attempt. You love to see it. And now, we can go see what kind of pyromancies this run can then dive into. I want to fight Millennia. We have Millennia at home. <laughs> Alright, I don't have the things that you guys all want. That's fine. The thing that I want is right here. Eh. Hello. The lamp. The lamp. 
All right. Uh, what do you got going on here, buddy? None of this looks like fire, my friend. This all looks like magic. Okay, well. Darn it. Let's see what else is there. Just curious. Um, lingering despairs, magic explosions, actual magic. A charm that requires radiance and isn't actually any better at Inferno. So we will not be taking that one. I guess it gives me an extra spell slot, but uh, that's not really a problem right now. Hmm. Hey, put this eye in there. Thanks. Okay, see you later. Bye. There's an NPC that you have to rescue. She will sell pyros to you. Oh. So he's only the magic magic. Darn it. Yeah, I know about the memories. I know. We're we're kind of just pushing for funsies. This is. I'm not actually recording, so I didn't actually expect to get anything done today <laughs> with with this. So that's uh. Didn't realize we'd actually make progress or prove that the run was viable. So uh, big oops on my part. But hey, good to know. We only needed four. We needed four mana clusters, and then only just. We didn't use the large mana stone cluster. Had we used that, we probably could have saved on this guy. So we probably could have gotten away with only having two, maybe three. And we only upgraded our pyromancy once. Or not even our pyromancy, just we only put one point into the stat. So if we can get past her, that second boss, with just a single upgrade and like some basic consumables that you can find around the map, then hell yeah. Hell yeah, it's doable. Now, of course, now we have to find some other stuff. I also kind of missed some shots. Very true. Very true. First playthrough? Yes and no. Haven't actually beaten the game. Yeah, yeah, give me a stick. Haven't actually beaten the game, but I've gotten far enough to know that I want to try and beat it. With a challenge run, though. Because uh, I am broken inside and I need validation. Um, Let's see. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's always one. Fist! <laughs> boop, bop, beep, boop. Dropping me some mana? Yeah! Alright, now we're talking. Hey you, how much damage do you take? I guess actually... No, I don't care how much damage you take. I don't care how much any of these guys take. Oops! <laughs> not, not what I meant to do. Okay. <laughs> Inferno run? Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. Basically. Let's see here. Spin past all these guys. Go down here. Uh, ooh. Calculated. Calculated. Hey, you. Give me my health back. Thanks. And an upgrade? Oh, I too kind. Rejects Blade. Is that the Pyromancy one? I don't know. Probably not. Hey, dying. How's it going? Were we going to have a specific ending? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Asking the wrong questions. Haven't actually seen the endings yet, so could not tell you. How much damage did you take? Ooh, not enough. I mean, plenty, but not enough to do. Como? Thank you so much. This is not a lamp. That was a hand. That's a lamp. Ooh, careful. Pale eye shield. All right. Uh, but yeah, how do I like the game? You know, I like it plenty. I like it enough. There are certain parts of this game that are frustrating. Um, a certain boss comes to mind. But maybe 
with the power I've only played this game with melee before uh, and a little bit of uh, what would I call it uh, holy spells so I'm kind of curious having not actually tried the pyromancy um, having not really tried pyromancy spells at all or spells in general uh, I am curious to see how much better it is so here's open Here's hoping it's just a good fun. And right, now we know they take four. You take four and you drop roughly a hundred souls. Is that right? Uh, let's do math again. Three twenty-four. Three twenty-four becomes four twenty-seven. Yeah, like a hundred and three souls. So if I killed like 18 of them, <laughs> I could level up once. Alternatively, I could just kind of sift my way through all of this, get some drops from everybody, and make about 200 souls. Of course, I'd have to take the drops back and sell them, but doable. I do appreciate that I can sell everything, like, really quick. I do like that. The Harrower Durrust crossbow with twisted bolts is the cheat in this game. I am curious about the crossbow. I mean, apparently that's part of the thing we do now, is I, I'm firebombs and crossbows, but also occasionally daggers and also occasionally <laughs> dragon heads. and ah, We just do everything, don't we? Let's not let's not kid ourselves. We just kind of do anything and everything. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize there was a big old thing here. Uh, sure. Why not? Is there a crossbow in this game? Oh, absolutely. There most certainly is. What do you got here? Garbage. Fantastic. I'll take three. I do like the fact that um. And it really caught me off guard the first time it happened. But if you aren't in the Umbral world... Yay, holy grenades. If you aren't in the Umbral world, but you hold up your lantern at the right spot, they can act, these little guys here can actually pull you into the Umbral world. Very creepy. Very cool. Definitely threw me off guard the first time it happened. Shook me a little bit. Oh. Well, hey. You don't have to be in the Umbral at all. Let's see. There's a better level up spot where you can get 500 a pop. That's too late in the game for a run. Oh, oh, I see. You're talking about the the, the crossbow. True enough, true enough, true enough. I'm sure. But uh, as we kind of discussed earlier, though, um, the crossbows probably all feel the same, minus the fact that they just do different types of damage rather than more damage or less damage. Uh, so it really becomes what kind of bolts can you get and when the problem with the ranged run though that we've kind of already seen uh is that uh, ammunition is hard to come by ammunition pouches are not a quick drop all right let's see well let's treat this properly let's treat this right you guys one hit kills good all right we'll do that we'll do that we'll take this Can't go back. Let's go mess with Blasphemous. Hello. Come on down. It's just the bolts that are doing the damage. Different types of damage. Yeah, I know. Max ammo is tied to two stats for sure. Someone's figured out the math on that one. But it's a, it's a pretty brutal math. And no one has said anything about how much maximum ammo you can have so without that information uh, and without the ability to use like cheat engine to test it it's uh, just not not a viable run unfortunately at the current point anyway pyromancy though <laughs> proving to be very viable oh she's got the blood tornado oh she's got the Getting a hammer too. Or a flail? It's a flail. 
Woman, I already have one stat build up. I don't need three. Okay, well. You think otherwise. Let's see. So, we're gonna... Kinda avoid that. I thought I avoided that. Apparently I did not. And a little mana cluster. We're okay. Everything's fine. Did you just, like, warp into me? What happened? Ow. Ow, my face. Where'd she go? Oh, there. Let's pop another one of these while we're here. Good, yes, stay there. Oh, that's what you did last time. Oh. Run here. Oh, you do that thing where you chase me in midair, huh? Not a fan of that. Well, a few more hits out of do ya? What? Again with this one HP in a dream thing. These guys gotta stop doing that. Quit it. <laughs> All right, that was easy. First try. Let's go. Hey, Obi. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, oh, don't don't go in there yet. Okay, never mind. It's safe. Sentry quintessence. Okay, now make the moss explode. Yay. Alright. Need a safe zone. Need a safe zone. We're not going to get a safe zone. Well, I did that. <laughs> I guess you can't pull forward. You can only pull left and right, huh? You going to make me punch you? All right, I'll punch you. All right, fine, but I'm not happy about it. Thank you for the mana. Final card alive? Hey, nice. Uh, what did we get? Lacerate knives. They're garbage, apparently. Ooh, -hoo, close call. You're stressed as hell? Oh, because you're working on your final essay. Oh, yeah, you got this, buddy. You got this. Don't worry about it. I know you're worried about it, but don't don't worry about it. <laughs> You've made it to this point. You've made it to this point. You're almost there. I swear there's usually a thing here. I guess not. Maybe I'm misremembering. Is this where you have to go through? Uh, yep. Okay. Nope. We're not doing that. Um, vestige. Here's good. Take me home. Country road. There we go. All right, good. Woo. What are you talking about now? Cheap fire bombs and also towards yourself. Try it might be better than fireballs higher up. Where though? Let me let me level up real quick and then I'll uh, we'll do that. Hmm, what should I put my points into? I don't know. Maybe Inferno. Okay. God, I hate this armor. This armor is gross. You can throw the Spike Helm guy off the platform with the platform? Oh, that is something you could do, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so what? Where is this uh, new fireball you're talking about? Do tell, do tell. Is it further up? Like, further forward? Do, 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 no. Do, do, do. Back this way, then. Okay. You can use a lacerating knife. Oh, that's what you meant. It's like a cheaper firebomb, 
might be better than my fireball. <laughs> Unlikely. Let's find out. Uh, hand. Knife. Throw. Yeah, no, that's way better than my... <laughs> I guess if I charge it. Now it does 76. And there's the bleed. Which I don't fully understand because it... I think it just does like one. I, I don't fully understand the bleed effect in this game. But hey, mana. Alright. So that's a nope. We're going to swap that out. There we go. That's better. Can you stack bleed? I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, wait. We can upgrade again. Um. Hey, Inverno. The cheaper fire bombs were the explodey things on the wall. Oh, those things is what you're talking about. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I guess they are like cheaper fire bombs, aren't they? I'm not sure. How s that's pretty situational, you know, considering you have to, uh, ow. <laughs> Be near one. Gosh, I can't imagine what killed this guy. <laughs> if I had to guess. All right, let's see here. Eh. Does that actually work? Yeah, it does. Okay, I see. <laughs> cool. That works very well. I forget, do their drops f come back to the platform if they die? I feel like they do. I feel like anyone that falls off a cliff drops their items. They do? Okay, great. Yeah. I don't know, that's... Uh, yeah, that's really convenient. Considering those guys really freaking suck. Like, on a good day. So, yeah. Good call. Thank you. You loved the Pikmin video? The ending was brilliant? Well, thank you. Yeah, I had a good time. Plain shield. Wow. I should probably be using any shield of any kind. I'm about to die. Um, yeah, I had a great time with it. I'm a little upset that uh, <laughs> immediately after posting that video, YouTube recommended... Okay. Um, YouTube then recommended, like, hey, here's two people that were able to do all the things that would have helped you run. <laughs> and I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> so I immediately learned several glitches that would have possibly saved the run, uh, which is really frustrating. But at the same time, though, I'm really happy with how that ending turned out, so I can't be too mad about it. You go over there, and I will focus on murdering everybody else. Just get everyone out of the way, yes. Pray to me. Uh, but yeah, no, so like, was it great for the video? Yes. Was it a little upsetting that I could have done it. Also, yes. Will we then probably do a Pikmin stream where we actually get the pieces? What is that? Agony's light. Uh, if we... Will we do that? Probably, yeah. I, I think I would like to. I think I would like to do that just for like a little bit of footage showing that it can be done. That way we can play Pikmin 2. And not be like, hey, wait, why is Alamar alive? So... Um, so yeah, we'll do it on a stream, which will be a little tricky. I'll have to find a way to get the microphone close to my face while also playing with a Wiimote. Um, we'll figure it out, though. So yeah, so when I'm ready to go to Pikmin 2, I will probably play through Pikmin 1 on a stream, doing the glitches, just to show that we could have gotten the, the pieces. Uh, give credit where credit is due, obviously, to the people that made videos on that that apparently YouTube thought was not worth showing me until after um, and yeah we'll go from there and then we can get into Pikmin 2 which apparently allegedly I need to check in on it but we might be able to do with strictly just blues which normally I'd be upset about 
but yellows don't have fire bombs in Pikmin 2, so it's kind of a uh, we're just gonna go with whoever we can do. So, but yeah, it'd be, it should be fun though. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. What the hell did we get? What what is this triangle thing? Here it is. Oh, it's a catalyst. Huh. It's terrible. Um. <laughs> now, can you... That's a question. Can I use this? Like, I know I can't actually use this right now. No, it's only for casting light spells. Okay. All right. I was just curious. I didn't know if you could use, like, a radiant catalyst to cast fire bombs. Does not appear to be the case. All right. Let's see here. Got to do this whole thing. That's a pretty rare drop from the 10 head enemy. Oh, okay. Yep. Of course we'd uh of course we'd get the rare drop on the the character that doesn't need it. <laughs> That's how it always works. Any chance we'll do uh Elden Ring challenge runs? Normally I would say no. But unfortunately, with the uh last charity stream that we did, you all hit every single stretch goal. Um, so one of said stretch goals was that I have to do the firebomb run for Elden Ring. So, yeah. We will be doing the firebomb run uh, sooner rather than later. It was always on my mind, but I'd been pushing it off for like over a year now. Uh, can't do that anymore. Gotta figure that out. So, that'll be hopefully... That'll hopefully be before April. Would be my guess. Would be my guess. I do need to figure out a Dark Souls run for this month, though. I haven't actually done one yet. I feel like I should. Hey, you! Come here! Come here, friendo! I have things for you. What are you, what are you doing? Alright, here. What if I come here? And I'll lure you a little bit closer. Ah, perfect. Perfect, my friend. That is that is not my lantern. Hold on. <laughs> Hold, please. I'll just throw that over there. There we go. Bye bye now. Beautiful. Hey, what? Suck all those souls in over here. Mm mm. Do those those recharge too every time I go rest too, huh? Is this a grinding spot? This could be a very good grinding spot. Just throwing that guy off the cliff over and over again. Not that guy in particular, but him and his little brother. What do you all want? Go somewhere else. No. Go somewhere else. I just want to rest. Let me sleep. Oh, who the hell? Who the hell are you? Go away. Thank you. Enemies are near. God damn it. You? <laughs> right. Thank you. All right. Finally. Jesus. Give me all my souls. All right. Moving on. <laughs> oh, boy. Firebomb run is the important one for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Firebomb's in Elden Ring. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. The The reason I've been putting it off is because I don't really enjoy Elden Ring. So if that's what you're oofing, then yes. But uh, as far as difficulty goes, I don't have any concerns, if I'm being completely honest. Probably be easier than we think. Ow. When is the competition video ready? That is a good question. I have edited through some of the footage I have. Can I get it from here? Oh, I can. All right. Well, kind of sucks that he hit me, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna shadow dies twice. You. Oh, never mind. You just fucking. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> that works too. Alright, I am out of mana. 
How much further do I have to go to unlock a shortcut? I don't think there is one. I think we're going to have to kind of book it. Let's see where we can go. Uh, but yeah, no, I've, I'm working on it. But, uh, man, five terabytes, man. I don't, I don't know. The hardest part for me is that I literally cannot download all of the footage without... Uh, oh, hey, wait, hold on a minute. Hey, fake firebombs, we were just talking about you. Uh, this one. Absorb, absorb, absorb. Yeah, that works out great, actually. Nice. Um, I literally cannot download everybody's footage off of, like, the Dropbox that I have it in without it, like, eating up every single bit of RAM I have on my computer. Not even RAM, memory. And I have a fucking lot of memory. <laughs> so, there's just so much. There's just so much footage, which makes it really hard to edit because then I don't have all the footage available to me when I'm trying to edit. So I have to download everyone's footage individually, figure out the pieces I need, and then from there... This could be bad. And then from there, edit it into an actual video. And so on and so forth. It, it's a mess. It's a mess. It is absolutely one of the hardest videos I've had to edit. Simply for that fact. Oh. What? They shoot through the rock? Boo. Boo. Elden Ring's a game where you shouldn't kill every boss? Oh, I agree. But I'm going to kill every boss anyway. Because <laughs> I don't want to play it again. <laughs> so if I'm going to do the, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. If we're going to play Elden Ring, I'm going to see all of Elden Ring with the character that makes the most sense for myself, which is uh, Firebombs. We're just going to ignore you. We're just going to ignore you. You're around too many friends. And I'd rather go forward. Especially the robot cat bastards. Oh my god, don't get me started on those fucking things. Those and the death birds. Not a fan of the death birds. Oops. Was not running. Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. Video's okay, gonna be a banger when it comes out? I hope so. For all the effort it's been, I hope so. Though, to be fair... Woo. To be fair... To be fair... Um, it has been nice seeing everybody else's channels get some well-deserved love from those videos as they put them out. Um... It's really nice to see, like, you know, they. for some of them, I know, like, they were, like, kind of like, ah, I don't know where what to put out, and I just, I'm not really sure, and then they put this one out, and then they all have gotten at least 100,000 views each time, which has been, like, really nice to see. You got my souls? Get. No, 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 no. Give me those back. I want some. Thank you. I'll take this. And I'm gonna walk slowly away from you. And where am I supposed to go? Oh, I have to be in the umbral. Ugh, gross. Okay. Well. Who are you? Who is this asshole? Ow. Well, that'll put me in the umbral real quick. There we go. Everyone fall off the edge. You especially. There we go. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, you. Mm. Nobody's a fan of the death birds? Well, that's good to hear. You can only hit them with a uh, lightning bolt or a greatsword. Yeah, firebombs work well enough. Firebombs work well enough, but they are they still suck though. Their hitbox is very strange. Might need multiple editors for the competition video. Uh, uh, I can't let go of my projects. I just can't do it. It's very hard for me to go hands off on a project. Ladder. There we go. Shortcut unlocked. I said the thing. Um, yeah. 
just because I, I worry that like somebody won't get the feel that I'm going for or will miss the story b that I want to tell. I I just really enjoy telling stories with my videos and to let somebody else edit the video. Oh, that's right. There's a guy in there. Uh, would mean that I have to give that up or potentially lose a story that I was interested in. So, you know. I keep reading that as delirium. <laughs> Small delirium fair. Okay, well, you seem busy. I'm going to run past here. Bye. Hello. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> okay. Woo. There we go. Have you got a favorite enemy in Elden Ring? I have not gotten far enough in Elden Ring to even pretend to know. Let's see. So I can absorb that. Can I scoot past you? I can. If I then go and kick you off the ledge. And then lure your big brother out here. Come here. Yoo-hoo. Oh, uh, yoo-hoo. That's the spirit. And then I... Eh, oh, it didn't work. Unless... <laughs> wait, wait. Wait for it. Explosion. There we go. All according to plan. And then we just run back. Easy grind spot. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is the farm you were talking about? Ah, good. Okay, good, good, good. Glad we're on the same page. Yeah, because you can just absorb that real quick. Kick this guy off the ledge. It's not as fast as you would hope. You can't just, like, bang, bang, and then go back. But it's pretty good. Would you kindly... I pretend to absorb you just to get you to move here. Yeah, I think this might be still. Uh, nope, that's enough. That'll work. Pop! <laughs> and absorb. And run home. Very cool. Yes, that is a good grinding spot for sure. That is a good grinding spot. All right, anyway. Hmm. Let me get one more. Looks like we were only about 500 off anyway. Oh, right. Got to rest. Would you kindly pick up that wrench? Hmm. Mm. There we go. It's my art. No need to hand it out for the algorithm's hungry sake. Oh, for sure. Yeah, there's no... I have long... Abandon the idea of playing to the algorithm. I mean, I will try and get out a video once a week if I can manage it. But at the same time, though, uh, it's going to be the video I want to get out and not, you know, whatever's actually good for the algorithm. Yep, that's enough. Wow, that's a good... This is a good grinding spot. I like this spot. Uh, but we won't, we won't stay here for too long. Let's keep moving. But yeah, no. You're right, though. The day that I have to give up the rights I have to my videos for the sake of the algorithm is the day that I stop. Because uh, I'm having fun with it, and I like to make videos, and I don't want to make... Vi I'm not making videos to make money. I'm making videos to make videos. <laughs> I guess, really? That's what it comes down to? Bye! Hello, have you met our lord and savior, Gravity? <laughs> oh. Someone over there is very excited about Gravity. I should go introduce them. Nice try. My turn. Oh, you're a little... Far from gravity, you might be. I might not be able to save you. <gasps> Wait, maybe, maybe. Can I show you the light? Can I show you the light? No, you're stuck in the corner. Ah, wait. There we go. Everyone can be saved. What's happening here? Oh, I broke their poise. <laughs> Oops. There we go. 
Uh, there's an item up there. I probably don't need it. I'm gonna try and get it. Because I'm an idiot. And I want it! Uh, okay. Guess we won't get it. Uh. <laughs> that's fine. Ah, that's what I was supposed to do. I see. <laughs> there were options. Oh, okay. Woo. Oh, uh, yeah, it's kind of useful, actually, the, the mana clusters. Those are important. You also saw that I tried YouTube Shorts out for a bit. How are those going? Those are fine. Um, I'm still technically making them, but at this point in time, I'm not... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't promote them. Like, I don't... I tell YouTube not to alert anybody when they go out. Um... Because, one, I feel like that's annoying. Like, if I like if I upload five shorts in a week, I don't think you want to be alerted that there's been five shorts. You want to know if there's been five videos. Um, so I don't do that. But they're out there. And uh, from what I've seen, like, the algorithm is still kind of pushing them out there a bit. So that's good. I don't know. We're just trying something different with those. They're based, they're just pieces of, like, old videos anyway, so it's not like you're missing out if you don't see one. Alright. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? How much further do I have to go? Are we done yet? <laughs> you remember when rollerblades were cool? Yeah. <laughs> have you tried a rollerblade as an adult? It's horrifying. Makes me feel like I'm going to break every bone in my body. What was I thinking as a kid? Also, where do we go? We're supposed to go somewhere down here. Where? It's probably a ladder somewhere if I had to guess, but... Ah, there it is. I found it. Run. Ah, what? Now, is this going to be a problem? Are we going to have a problem here? Ow. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You and I are going to have words. I can tell already. God, there's so many enemies here. Ah, uh, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> don't, don't worry about the health bar. Everything's fine. I just have to not get hit. Let's, uh... Give ourselves a little bit of a safety net there. There we go. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Yeah, right. All right, garbage. Thanks. Hey, buddy. You heard our... I was talking. There we go. All right. And we're safe. <laughs> Rollerblade's cool at some point. Just as cool as Healy's. Use your Heelys to get away from your feelies. I've actually seen a resurgence of Heelys lately. Maybe it's just where I live, but I have definitely seen more than one child using Heelys this year alone. Which is, uh, something. <laughs> that is something. This is where I went down, yeah? Was this just a shortcut? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Where am I? Okay, I'll turn around. Fine, let me just push forward. Just push forward. It's fine. None of this matters. Aha! Aha! I missed the turn. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Give me your soul! Thank you. That's all I wanted. I'm out of here. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. This is the part where we have to play. We have to play. Find the roots. Oh, we got another buddy coming in. Okay. Alright. Uh, a little closer. That'll do. This is a pyromancy, not a thing. Okay, over there. Stay away from our sniper friend up there. Get all that I'm owed. Okay. 
Let's see. First one is right there. Next one or two are down below. Take that. The Book of Sin. Ah, yes. Where? I know it's back there. There's just too many enemies. Hold on a minute. Let me look. Okay. Root goes this way. Shut up. It should be right there. There you are. And now we run away. <laughs> and the last one, I think, is just directly to the right. If memory serves. Uh, yeah, there you are. Come on now. Before they get here. They are coming! Please hurry! Drums in the deep! There we go. Alright, where the hell am I? <laughs> I'm somewhere! And we can make a thing here, but I feel like that's... ...probably gonna be necessary considering we're being swarmed here. Oh, that's this whole part? Okay, yeah. That's fine. We'll do it. I don't want to come back to all this. We'll do it. Hold on, give me a minute. Okay. We need a goofy scream every time you pull us an enemy off a ledge? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. Probably hand me down Christmas heirlooms? I don't think so. No, I think the Heelys, those Heelys looked new. And also, I mean, Heelys are shoes, right? So, like, you can't just give someone shoes. You have to be the right size. So, uh, yeah, no. I think Heelys are trying to make a comeback. There's lady blacksmith who won't help me all that much there's a new crossbow bolts in case we ever decide to do that run the top of this lady's cage here hey what's up <laughs> all right now yeah, you seem like you're busy i'm just gonna burn a few things here don't mind me oh you don't have to deal with the dog's armor or maybe it's just i got the because I got a, a uh, I didn't hit them in the head. Pew pew. Guess we'll find out in a second here. Hey doggy. Nope. Yeah, I didn't care about the armor at all. Interesting. As for you, oh, there's a third dog. Oh, it did have armor. Oh no. Well, there goes that theory. Easy with the shield, my friend. I don't have that skill yet. Okay. Got the key. And there's a... Um, memory serves. There's some sort of weird door over here, right? Uh, maybe not here in particular, but... Bleed cure? Oh, boy. Finally, a cure for my blood! There's one around here somewhere. Ah, it's that one there. Yeah. Is anything good back there? Probably. Let's find out. What's the main gimmick in this game? Oh, uh, this. You just saw it. Uh, basically, the game is layered over a shadow world. And you can access the Shadow World to do stuff, like find loot, or fight enemies differently, or whatever. But if you die in the Shadow World, you die in real life, so, you know, you gotta be careful. Where's your door? Oh, right. I just had to give you the key. There you go. 
All right, well, see you back at Firelink. I need a Pilgrim's Perch key. Damn it. Okay. Um, here. Here's where we go. Get up there. Does this game have dragons? Good question. Don't know. Haven't seen one. But that doesn't mean anything. Right, that's where we were. Take this back up to the top. Oh, wait. No, this does not... Oh, wait, yes, it does. No, we're fine. We're fine. Sword Art Online reference. I mean, literally any... Any... What is it? What's that genre called? Is it ikis, I, Isekai? I don't actually know. That could be a reference to anything where if, you, if you're pulled into a video game and then you die in the video game, you die in real life. Ooh, whoa. Scary, spooky. Not, uh, used to be, it's a cool idea and all, don't get me wrong, and, you know, as a gamer, it's like, yeah, that's, like, what would I do if I was sucked into a video game? But the, the genre itself is so played out at this point, it's just like, we can, we can stop now. Isekai? Okay. I thought so. Yeah, we, we, we can stop making those, you know, um, <laughs> it's fine. So if you're looking for a good one, um, is it Log Horizon? Is that the, am I remembering that correctly? That's a good one. I like that one a lot. Um, oh yeah, there you go. Theo and I are on the same brainwave. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. The like first half of this, of season one of SAO was good. <clears throat> and I did appreciate in season three three I want to say for SAO where uh, they actually address the fact that you know Kirito has PTSD because he had to murder people <laughs> that's that's good that's a nice touch that is that is the kind of realism I enjoy um, did not appreciate the uh, <clears throat> family plot of season two though that was weird and kind of definitely not where I wanted that to go um, though I do appreciate the way that, who is it? <clears throat> Fuck my voice. <clears throat> Fuck, hold on one second. Ah, that's better. Um, yeah, what was, uh, who, who are the people that have been doing the abridged version of SAO? I, I, it frustrates me that I can't remember. Um, but they... Have, they they are currently going through season two, and they found a way to make that. They took that entire plot line, and made it very good. They took what was like a needless and just kind of gross plot line, for God knows why they did it. Something witty entertainment. Thank you. Yes, that's them. They took that weird plot line and they twisted it in the perfect way, and they made it into an actual story. And I love it. They they. They are doing SAO better than SAO is doing SAO. So, that's, uh... If you're ever interested in SAO, just watch something witty entertainment. Oh, we're in the middle of the boss fight. Whoops. <laughs> I thought I was still outside. Hello! How are you? I have 11 mana clusters. We're gonna be fine. No real grinding needed in this run, clearly. Here, let me, uh, feed your dogs. Real quick. There you go. They're a fan of spicy, right? Ow. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay. One more for you. There you go. Alright. Now what about you? Are you a fan of spicy? Uh, kind of. Kind of, sort of. Right, I gotta watch your stamina consumption here. Also, more dogs! There we go. All right. Yeah, she's a fan of spicy. Ow! <laughs> All right, gotta work out my timing on that, clearly. What are you doing? That one I can dodge no problem. Looks like I can see it. Oh, dog time again. 
It's the, uh... Oh, there's a fourth, fifth dog? I've, I've lost track. Also, the audio is dying on me. <laughs> that's not your guys' stream. That's the game. We will definitely be turning the music off for the video. Okay. Oh, there's another dog. Why? Does she have unlimited dogs? I could have swore they stopped. Uh oh. <laughs> Something happened there. Take that. Alright, you. Come here. Now we're out of mana. Let's try again. I am trying to do mana things. Give me a minute. Don't be, don't be rude. She spawns them nonstop. Oh. Does it, all right, is this like, uh, is it like Lana where she can only have three at one time or anything like that? Because if so, we can probably manage this. Uh, one HP in a dream. I got this. It's fine. Oh, boy. One HP in a dream. <laughs> Run away. Oh, she is going ham with the dog spawn. Mm -mm. <laughs> Never gonna catch me. I have a man uh, health regen ring. No, I don't. I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, good. Woo! First try, easy. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't even see what we got. Loot wise. Whew. It's just that easy. Not even close. Any tips for someone who's just starting out doing YouTube? Yeah, make videos you want to make. Don't worry about algorithms. Don't worry about any of that. Just uh, make a video that you would want to watch. And that'll show. That'll come across better than any faking that people do. Because people can tell. Believe you me, people can tell if you're faking it. So, so unless you're audi unless you're trying to get an audience of like age five to ten, uh, yeah, just make videos you want to make and uh, put them out there. Don't worry about them being perfect. That's not a thing. There's no such thing as perfect. All right, where are we going? No, no, da, da, da. Got a favorite NPC in Salt and Sanctuary. The first one, huh? Um, good question. And why is it Binti Skell? Uh, I kind of like uh, Old Greg. <laughs> I like the fact that Old Greg is in there. Yeah. I don't know. The NPCs in Salt and Sanctuary are kind of bland. Don't really got a whole lot going on, you know? Um, I guess, I guess I kind of like the sorcerer, the fading fast sorcerer, uh, simply because it reveals that there's more going on. This is where I came from. Okay. Let's go back. Um, Scarecrow? Eh, yeah, he's all right. I guess that also kind of reveals that something else is going on. Yeah. And NPC, the NPCs in most souls like Gourmet? Yeah, for the most part. A lot of a lot of souls likes try to lean into like the dark and gloomy exhibit A. Um and in all honesty, it's just not really that interesting. In the long run, you know. Did I miss the NPC that was like lurking outside of this boss arena? I think I did. Wasn't it wasn't yeah, there was supposed to be some lady like standing right here. Was she not there? Did I completely miss her? Obviously, she's gone now because I rested, but... Whoops. Well, I hope she didn't have any pyromancies. Mm, that's a far drop. Okay, well... Wasn't trying to speedrun it, but... Uh, 
is what it is. God, are we already at fucking Blight Town? Okay. And of course there's a vestige. Why wouldn't there be? That NPC was the same one outside the other boss room. She was outside of that boss room too? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, she didn't. Oh, if I didn't talk to her there, she wouldn't move here. Oh, she was outside of that one. Oh, that's how that works. Oh, she's only a mandatory optional PC NPC. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, Dark Souls does have a few cool NPCs. Laurentius is cool. I like him a lot. Oh fuck, we're here. Oh, this could be real bad. All right. Well, hey, what uh, what do you sell? I'm just put. You could even Please stop talking and just sell me things. Hello again, friend. What do we have? You have things for upgrading. That could be important right now. Uh, and the rest of it is garbage. Okay, cool. Interesting. Well, we'll definitely need these, so I might come back to you. Let's... Be blessed. I've never actually upgraded a catalyst. I don't know if you can. We're going to find out real quick. I keep forgetting that I can just warp places. This place looks nice? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks so nice. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, you, first off. Oh, my God. So much talking. Please upgrade. Thank you. I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to talk anymore. Please shut up. Okay. That's one. Good. You don't have anything fire related, do you? You're all holy. I have as one. My name is the Holy, the Church of the Duty and Insurance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm, yep, yep, Lord, mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm, skip, okay. Uh, yep, these are only healing spells and blessing and things. I can't do that, okay. Bye! You only have weapons, I know that for a fact. We're moving on. He sounds so goody two shoes. He does, but. He also, like, wants you to bring him things, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing that or not, or if I'm supposed to be keeping them for myself. Not sure. Yes, yes, get the thing that Sparky has, I know. Alright, anyway. Um, what are you selling? You selling crossbows? Oh, you sell mana clusters! Ooh! Very useful indeed. We have we just got unlimited mana, boys and girls. That's what we like to see. But yeah, look at the crossbow damage. 160, right from the get-go. Very strong. As composed as compared to, say, like the bow, which has 80. <laughs> it's twice as strong. For half the stats, too. It's crazy. It's got just as good scaling, too, basically. Hmm. Wild. Absolutely wild. All right, anyway, uh, can you upgrade catalysts? Question. Asking for a friend. Survey says yes. And I have 11. Where did I get 11 of these things? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> when did I pick up 11? Okay, whatever. I'm not complaining. Just confused. Yeah, I don't have the large ones, though. That's okay. Two is better than zero. How much better? I wasn't even paying attention. Ah, uh, pretty significantly. Cool. Looking forward to it. Wish I had somebody that would sell me freaking pyromancies, but uh, we'll get there. Warp. Uh, not to the seedling. We don't need that. Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah. got damage to go with the glass? Sure did, buddy. Sure did. Okay, so you... What was it that you sold that I wanted? That I thought about? Oh, no, I don't need the thing you're selling. I had more than I need. I had more than I thought I did. I don't need your upgrade materials. Whee! Alright, uh, get ready, kids. Worst boss in the game so far. I do love that you just bounce off of him, though, to start it. It's <laughs> like, oops. Okay. So, first things first. He's got a little buddy. Which... I have absorbed, I think. 
It's so hard to tell. Um, now, we're going to see how he does against Pyre. Uh, that's better than I was expecting. I am dead. <laughs> and so it begins. This is not going to go well for me. I should probably... I should probably look into holding a shield. Um... Yeah. So this is the boss that's really bad. Uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Level Vigor? Oh yeah, sure. Let me get right on that. <laughs> the area she is in is available to you. It's just hidden. Where? Tell me. Tell me. Badly designed or bad isn't hard. Bit of both. Bit of column A, bit of column B. Back in the in the hub world. Okay, we're going back. Uh, yeah, it's it's very hard to avoid his attacks and figure out the timing. But on top of that, um, he just like constantly does poison damage, and uh, I don't know. It's just a mess. It's kind of a mess. He hits too hard. It's a whole thing. I didn't need those. You need to get past one of the doors in the hub. Which one? He mean and stinky? Yeah. What is his... Hey, does anyone know what his little buddy does? I've never noticed the difference between either killing the little buddy or not killing the little buddy. Both times it seems very, like... I don't know. I don't notice any difference at all. That reminds you of the Puss and Men in Dark Souls 3 and their movesets? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. He just heals the boss after a certain amount of no da of no damage. Oh, okay. Well, it's not really worth getting hit for. Um, okay, so where the warp spot before the boss that threw the fire tornadoes at you? Instead of going to the boss direction, go down the stairs and to the right. Before the boss that threw the fire tornadoes at you. Okay, blasphemous boss. Got it. Instead of going to the boss direction, go down the stairs and to the right. I'm not sure which of these is. The right one. I want to say it's this one. Yeah. He's supposedly weak to burn. Well, that's that's good. <laughs> that's I can work with that. It's when a boss becomes unweak to burn is when we're gonna have a problem. Head out. Oh, head out and go right. Man, those ankles, man, they're taking a beating today. Okay, so we're going through all this. You guys are saying down here? Okay, sure. There's somebody... There's an NPC down here? Through all the... Oh! Oh, are we getting the key? Is that what we're doing? We're getting the key? Oh, wait. And then through there, maybe? Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, hold on. Before I go nuts and run through all of this... You need the Skyrus Bridge Key. And that's, correct me if I'm wrong, further up this way, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Like, I gotta make my way through this whole fucking maze. Get pushed off the ledge 17 times. <laughs> Fuck you! Yes? Okay, good. Alright, in that case I know exactly what we're doing. We can speedrun that. We can speed run this. This is fine. I didn't realize there was an NPC in there. Although, to be fair, the last time I played is the, la the first time I got that key, so... Okay. <laughs> Lemon's a, g a gamer. Sure am, buddy. Gamer! <laughs> There's just a bell staff over there. We don't need it. Go, please. Thank you. There we go. Gamer got gamed? Nah. No, no, no. It's all planned. It's all planned route. See, because now I'm in the umbral already. Now I don't need to go back to the umbral. See, I'm saving time. It's a time save. See, because now I just run down here, and the platforms are already done. Technically, I'm not supposed to be in the Umbral right now, but it's fine. 
We can unumbral ourselves. And then we can umbral for a second. And then we can unumbral again. Faithful bludgeon. I don't remember picking that up last time. And then do this. It's all about that two second time save. Yeah, absolutely. So you get it. Fun fact, you can drop down from there to here. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, I couldn't figure out the bridge thing until Mac pointed it out to me last time we played. But uh, So that was a big oops. But uh, yeah, no, there's a... You can just barely survive the, uh, the fall there and land on like a glitched edge. It's crazy. Okay, well, there's some awful noises happening behind me. I'm leaving. Where am I? I'm just gonna take this and uh, use this. Oh, hi, Death. <laughs> oh, hi, Death. How's it going? All right. I'm in the safe zone. No one can touch me. Bye. Okay. It's just that easy. And now. We go back to this one. <laughs> Des is like, sup bro, want a sharp metal thing I found? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Has some oh hi mark energy? I'm sure it did. <laughs> oh hi mark. Alright, so. Now, now why would you do that? Why would you even push? I'm nowhere near an edge. What were you thinking? Well, at least he's got a long time to think about that. Anyway. Um, door does not open from this side. Chat, you lied to me. How do I fix this? How do I make this good? Is this a... No. Skyrus is right. Uh, I mean, I know this key works on other doors around Firelink. You just went off on your own? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so wh what's the plan here then? <laughs> off the cliff panic? No, we're not panicking that hard. Just got to figure out what to do. Is there a way around, perhaps? Like, finding that, that's cool. Oh, hello. Wow, you guys are all just coming right up here, huh? Just completely uninvited. Where? Sure there's no holes in the wall or something silly. <laughs> silly goose? Yeah, they do have hops, yeah. That was kind of surprising, honestly. Well, shit. Yeah, no. How, how what do? How do we get there? Chad, I want pyromancies. How do we... <laughs> Please. <laughs> if we're going to finish the stream today, I need to get pyromancies. Please, I'm hitting my head with the sword. Please, come on. <laughs> that's a that's a great an that's a great animation. Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> Go back to where we met death. Okay. Okay, okay. I need to make sure we use that <laughs> in the video. <laughs> think, let me think. <laughs> oh God! All right, see you later, Deke. Back to death. Use lantern. Am I enjoying the game? Yeah, I'm having a good time. I'm having a good enough time. It's a little wonky, but it's it's good wonky. Alright, let's see. So that goes that way. This goes back this way. It's probably over there then, huh? Okay. Like DS1, DS1 good wonky? Yeah, I'd say so. Not in the feel, but uh, but definitely in like just the jank. Behind me? What? Behind me? I just need one more thought. <laughs> oh, this door here. Oh, okay, sure. Have I played Liza P? Not yet. Um, I have been playing a lot more games, though. 
I play. Oh, what the fuck is all this? I did recently play Aliens Fire Team. It's, it's it's dumb fun. I can appreciate that for what it is. Uh, I started Baldur's Gate three. That was a mistake. Um, that it now permeates my every thought, and I just want to only play it, and I can't. So, you know. Um, but yeah, that's a thing. What is all this? Guides stuff. Okay, so just armor set. That's fine. But yeah, no, great game. Absolutely worth the uh, game of the year that it got for sure. Uh, that is absolutely a forever game, and it terrifies me. So, for everyone who's always asked, like, hey, do a Baldur's Gate challenge run, how dare you? <laughs> that would be doing Baldur's Gate a disservice. No. But yeah, I've been, uh, I have been soloing it, though. Like, that's, that's the challenge run that I made for myself. Not to actually challenge run, not to record, just as, like, because I don't like having Go Umbral. Yeah, okay, I will. Give me a second. Um, but just because I don't like controlling several characters at the same time, it's just, it feels tedious to me and I get, I get annoyed. So I did make a character that is currently soloing the game without a party. And he's, he's hanging in there. Ah, here we go. I know where we are now. Cool. That sounds lonely? Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. I will check out this memory, I guess. when they speak to me of it, but I know what they think. By marrying such a minor noble, I'm putting my own happiness before the good of the royal line and the welfare of Monster. But they don't see in her all of the things that I do. This kingdom is my home. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, just, just, just noble things, I guess. As I always have. As you oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I see. Would you please stop talking about your your nobility problems over there? Please shut up. Oh my God, I can't skip it. Oh my God, he's still going. Finally, Jesus, it was not worth the umbral scouring. Hi. Yeah, you're having some issues there, huh? Let's see what we can do about that. Head down the first floor. Ah, okay, 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 okay. By soloing the game, aren't you technically challenge running it? I guess, but, like, it's not... It's something that's, like, doable and probably expected. Like, even the, the loading screens say, like, you can do it. We don't recommend it, but, uh, because then you're going to miss out on some dialogue options and things. But you could do it. So, um... Yeah, no, I think it's it's fine, though. It's just how I like to play. I'm a big fan of not having seven team members to deal with. I'd much... What the fuck? I'd much rather have just one person that I can dump everything into. And focus on. It's just how I like it. Let me do a look at this. Oh, resist all status effects. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's way better. Oh, it's one of these things. Um, Deal additional damage with a smaller equip load. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no problem. Oh, what is that anime? Oh, no. She walks like she has to poop. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. Well, that's unfortunate. I wonder if it actually affects pyromancy damage, though. We'll test that later. We will test that later. But first, put the clothes back on, man. Just, Jesus. Don't, don't do that to us. Okay, umbral puzzle. Uh, there seems to be a way down. Uh-huh. I see. Okay, okay, okay. She got the poop run. <laughs> She's got the poop run because of the poop run. You feel me? Where? There's a whole thing going on here, huh? Okay. Okay, we gotta do a little bit of do a little bit of things here. Do that. And that destroys this. And you have several. Okay. I see how we're doing this. Yeah. But no, I've been having a great time with it though. It's uh the amount of variety 
is fantastic. I really love it. And I am playing through like a second character with one of my uh, family members. And he's played it for at least like 250 hours. And even he's seeing things from chapter one. He's like, oh, wow, I didn't know you could do that. So it's just, just kind of full credit to the game, right? Full credit where credit is due. That in any game that lets me throw a child into the abyss when they pickpocket me is absolutely 10 out of 10. <laughs> I, I quick saved, but but yeah, some some child pickpocketed me, and as retribution, I threw them into a off a cliff, and it let me, and I was perfectly happy with that. 10 out of 10 game. I also befriended a squirrel. Me and the squirrel are friends. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Um, oh no, wait, no, there's one more. It's down there. How do I get to that one? How do we get to you? I see you. How do I get to you? You're too far. I can't lock on. <laughs> this squirrel's a mouthy one. She sure was. <laughs> Yeah. That and the dog cutscene? Oh my god. I had Speak With Animals on at the time. That- that- I almost cried. <laughs> it's such a good game. It's such a good game. If you haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 and you're looking for a forever game, look no further. Scratch is the best boy. Absolutely. Anyway, no more talking about Birthers Gate 3. That's as far as I've gotten. I haven't even cleared the Druid camps, so I, I don't know anything about it. So don't, no more, I don't want to ruin anything. All right, what are we doing here? You can pull the platform over to you. Which platform? Like, I know you can. I'm trying to, I can't seem to reach it. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. This is a platform. I see. I see. I've got it backwards. I've just got it backwards. Okay. Hello. Didn't I theorycraft a D&D &D firebomb build at one point? I sure did. <laughs> Unfortunately, what did, what did I... What class did I use? I didn't use the alchemist, did I? Because there is no alchemist in Baldur's Gate 3. What did I use? I don't remember. I'll have to rewatch my video. Um, not this way. Wrong way. Yeah, that would be something. <laughs> that would certainly be something. I think I used fighter. Didn't I use fighter? With like the throw. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, that's something. Oh wait a minute. I skipped ahead. Oopsies. I didn't. I didn't go break the flower. What's the low reason with yanking bodies out of glowing things to make platforms? Just shut up. <laughs> that's that's as much as you're going to get. <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not really paying attention to the lore in this game. I don't think it's important. There is Alchemical Wizard. There is, isn't there? That would be the way to go. I did see that, where you're a wizard that... Uh, Searing Accusation, excuse me? That's another thing. No, it's not. What is Searing Accusation and why did I get it? Hello? Dad? Oh, here it is. Oh, C+. Plus. Well, that's upsetting. I just put all my points into this fucking thing. Um. <laughs> no hand on this one, just fingers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well. Alright, well, we'll have to upgrade the other one now. Uh, but what else? You gotta give this to the lady? Oh man. I guess it's not that good. It's only like 20 more damage or something. It's fine. Dark Souls logic says it's worse. <laughs> yeah, less fingers. Not good enough. Alright, alright. We'll give it to the lady. I'd rather have pyromancies over 20 more damage. Uh huh. That that's all you needed, huh? All right, we'll see you back at camp. Um. Cool.
cool. Let's go. Mod in the artificer and you can flamethrow everything. Did somebody make an artificer class already? Fuck. I have, I'm afraid to look at the mods for that game. I am afraid to look at the mods. Alright, let's go. So where is our lady person? Is she still over here? You did a one shot with a firebomb paladin? <laughs> did you? <laughs> the mods for PG3 would be endless. They are endless. She's difficult. She stays just outside of the boss room. Really? Oh, I got her, I got her mask. That's fun. She's outside of Pieta's boss. She's up away a little bit. Okay. How's the run going? Run's going good. We are, uh, we are basically at the boss that I've always got to, and I have not had to do like any grinding. So uh, yeah, pyromancy good, unsurprisingly. How's the editing going? What are we editing? Sneak peek? Baron sneak peek? I guess I can get this. The mods were crazy before launch. Yeah, no shit. She's at the boss arena. Oh, she's like right here then. Lady person. Oh. Hold on. What are you doing way the fuck out here? Just a completely normal run of Eldering. Fantastic. That's right, that's right. I forgot. Hello. Again, deathless one. Uh. I'm glad you were able to free yourself from behind. Perhaps it was the I couldn't. I liked it better when you couldn't talk. Um. The woe when I carry only. Oh my God! Just what do you have? Ah, my invitation reached you. Okay, I have that. I have that already. I don't have that. And these things are for PVP stuff. So we don't care about that. This, though, what's this? Spray a constant stream of fire. 640 sec. Uh, give me a second. Wait a minute. I have something for this. Uh, what do these give me? 400? Yeah. Do that. And actually, while we're here, we can test a theory. Uh, Hi. Uh, let me just take all those souls real quick. Thank you. Now, uh, would you kindly hold this? 146. And then if I take everything off, it'd be creepy like. 156. That's not a. F okay. Shit. That stupid item does actually, in fact, do things. Now I have to be ugly. Great. <laughs> Great. It's only 10 damage. It's not It's not a whole lot. See if you can get any one-shot bosses with it. Good ah, idea. Good idea. Let me try. I don't have enough... Oh, oh, fucking... All right. You know what? We're, we're about to end this. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. Here. Yeah, pop that. Kind of regretting ah, the fact that I didn't try when I made this character. <laughs> kind of regret it now. Put the... Put it back on. Put it back on. I don't even care what you're putting on. Just put something on. All right. Let's see here. Uh, right bumper is that. Let's go with this one. Let's see how we're looking. No. Try again. Interesting. Range is a little hard to judge. Mana consumption is big. Pyromancy buildup is pretty huge as well. Interesting. Well, hey, I know exactly which boss to test this on. <laughs> Hold, please. I know exactly how to finish this stream. Where's the Baldur's Gate 3 magic mirror when you need it? Actually, I think there is something in here that lets you change the way you look. Uh, yeah, here it is. Pretty sure. Well, maybe not that one. But there is one. Somewhere, I think. I don't know. I'm, I, you know, I've played so many games in the last week that maybe I'm just kind of mixing it all together now. I could be rug. Four kings shitting themselves right about now. <laughs> Damn right. All right, let's see here. That's the one. Let's go. 
You have to follow her quest so she'll get new items to sell. I kind of figured. Yeah. Are we sure it's not like one of those things where, um, where like if you just beat bosses, then she gets new spells, like that kind of thing? I've noticed that with other bosses or other NPCs lately. Maybe I'm wrong. We. We'll find more spells to explore too. Oh, good. Yes, thank you. Come here, big boy. We gotta test the range here. And you scare me. Well, a little shorter than that. Uh huh. Is good. Yeah. Okay. Ow. Please just cast. Oh. Pretty decent. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe not, though. Hold on. That was about 629. Okay. It's not bad. But I can do pretty decent damage just by throwing two, though. Oh, right. I forgot you didn't do that. <laughs> oh, right. You have a range. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Damage is good. Damage is, damage is good. Uh, you have to be up close, which is kind of a bummer. Let's, well, this is what we're doing. We're theory crafting here. So let's go on and try just using fireball instead of flamethrower and see what kind of return we get. Not that it matters since we can buy as much mana crystals as we want at this point. So maybe flamethrower would be better in that regard just because then we can kind of get him over with. But I'm worried about getting close for obvious reasons. You might, you might be somebody I just flamethrower just for getting through you. The range is nice. So I don't have to deal with this bullshit. But. Maybe just a combo. Certainly, certainly getting somewhere. That's definitely easier than any other fight I've fought this guy with. Oh god. So there's something to this. No, don't wanna. Can't make me. I believe we can do this. Let's get my health back real quick. Wow, that is the easiest fight I've ever had with that guy. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. Pyromancy OP, let's do it. <laughs> Jesus. Not even close, baby. Oh, man. Yeah, no. That's, um... This run is going to be the big dumb. I'm, I'm for it. Let's do it. Now we just have to record all that. Exactly. It's fine. We'll be able to power through all this pretty quick. We'll be able to power through all this pretty quick. I'm not too worried about it. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, on that note, that's a fine place to stop. Oh, God. My arms. Mm. A little tense. Uh, yeah, I need to do some writing. Uh, I have a video that I need to get out on Saturday. <laughs> so, uh, but this is absolutely the way to go, I think, for... Uh, 
the first challenge run for this game. And that way we can kind of suss it out, see if people are interested in it. If they do want to see more of it, we can dive deeper, start going to firebombs and things like that. But uh, pyromancy for sure. Absolutely. But in any case, everybody, thank you so much for dropping by. Sorry it took me so long to get to this. I uh, appreciate your patience. But we got there. So anyway, hope you all have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.